is Fox 5 Local News at 5. The president's call for police to use body cameras in the wake of the police shooting in Ferguson has been touted as a way to improve transparency. But the rush to add cameras has some worried about privacy. In Maryland, Laurel police have been using body cameras for two years now. As Fox 5's Sherry Lee reports, it's cut down on the use of force by 30%. This is what it looks like from the camera Laurel police officer Darwin Paredes wears on his glasses. It's turned on any time he interacts with someone or responds to a call. People are told they're being recorded. The camera keeps you in check from, you know, overstepping your boundaries because you know it's always on. It's changed not just how officers react, but the public too. We have actually viewed video where somebody was confrontational, aggressive, non-compliant with an officer until they realized that the officer had a camera on. Privacy is another issue. Laurel has a policy not to record sensitive matters such as sexual assault or child abuse. Inside a home, officers ask for consent and record the answer. So there's no question if someone says no and the camera gets turned off. There's also a 30-second pre-record of video only should officers pull up on a situation in progress. Might be a domestic issue where I've had um, go up to a scene the husband might be beating up on the female that 30 seconds does does is recorded once I hit it policies on the use of body cams differ by department DC police which has a six-month pilot program has an 18 page directive on how and when to use them a YouTube video from DC police shows what the video looks okay, like but the cameras today. are limited to, to where day. they're pointed Yes, I am. I'm turning my head. You're doing something right now. Um, it's not going to be recorded at all. Laurel keeps recordings and erases them after 180 days, unless it's evidence. Since they have now realized the benefit of having these cameras, they're now in standing in line to get the next round of cameras. So they're actually chomping at the bit to get the cameras. Officers have read-only access, which means they can't edit or alter the video if something goes wrong. In Laurel, Sherry Lee, Fox 5 Local News. All right, well, the debate on whether officers should wear body cameras isn't just in our area, as many across the United States are having the same discussions that we are. Joining us now to talk more about it is Mark Levine. He is a constitutional attorney. Welcome back. Good Thank to see you for you. having me here. So we just watched that piece, uh, and, and my sense of that is that Laurel seems to be uh, uh, handling this pretty well. I think they are doing it pretty well. I actually think uh, the Chief Lanier is actually doing a pretty good job in D.C. Uh, she was going to have it for 90 days, I think, or 180 days. That mm -hmm. seems reasonable enough time to make sure there's no complaint no arrest and then erase them because we, we don't you know security cameras they run on an infinite loop you don't right. you don't say need to save years back but if there is an arrest if there is a police complaint we want to know what happened I mean the big argument over Ferguson is really among millions of Americans who were not there and have no idea when right. what went on and here some people insist that officer Darren Wilson was entirely correct and some people insist that Michael Brown did nothing wrong and we weren't there. We, we only know. have a few witnesses and their testimony conflicts. The body camera would be able to resolve that issue. The other thing I think is I think the police would probably be a little more polite if they knew that everything they said or did was, was being recorded. And that's a good thing. Right. We saw the reduction, uh, the numbers uh, we uh, report, 30% reduction. That's terrific. Uh, in Laurel in, in some of those confrontations. So that's a good thing. You do have some concerns. You generally support body cameras. You have some concerns about them. Uh, and so do police departments. First, tell me what some of your concerns are. Well, I, you know, I, I think there need to be good regulations on them. You heard about the 18 pages. I don't know if they think we, need, lot, we need 18 pages. But it seems to me that, uh, number one, they shouldn't be able to be turned off by the officer. I think that's very, very important. I think any officer that turns off a body camera, uh, ipso facto, is, is probably doing something they shouldn't be doing. Now, let me interrupt you for a second because some officers say, well, what about, you know, when I have to go to the bathroom or what about, uh, uh, you know, privacy issues or like when they do and go into a home and someone says, no, I'd rather rather you not record. Well, in terms of the bathroom, I mean, we've all, every American adult has been in a public restroom. Uh, I, they don't show body parts. So, you know, if we hear noises from the bathroom, that's nothing that any of us haven't undergone in any public bathroom anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. So I really don't think that's an issue. When it comes to people wanting to turn off uh, the cameras. I think that people have a right to give anonymous tips to the police, but I think they should be encouraged not to. I think they should be reminded that what they say is very important. We don't want people making false accusations. So while 
I agree with anonymous tips. It should be on the record that the person says, uh, you know, I don't want the mm -hmm. tip there. Uh, I, I really would much rather put it all there. That doesn't mean it's available to the public. This is very important. Just because these cameras are on doesn't mean that you can go stream right. and watch your favorite police officer, <laughs> you know, like cops right. live every, every minute. No, it doesn't work like that. They, they'd be put in a place. They would not be used unless there's an incident, unless there's something wrong. But as a lawyer who's tried a number of cases, I can tell you that witness testimonies are often all over the map, and sometimes people remember better the moment they say something than than you know a year later or months later let's let's get it all on camera you mentioned the anonymous tip I issue uh, some police departments have raised that and they've said look that you know when they're out in the field when they're working uh, they're working sources and all of that type of thing sometimes they have uh, uh, people who want to approach them and give them information uh, but sometimes those people don't want to be uh, they don't want it to be known that they've done that or, or what have you and some of the police departments say they're worry that it will it will cut down on the number of people who are willing to step forward and tell them something here's the thing if someone wants to give an anonymous tip first of all there's all kinds of 800 numbers to do that but if they want to do it in person they can go up to a police officer they can ask that this be anonymous I think the burden should be on the person though because I think that generally we want these things to be recorded and then that kind of thing would not you could make a regulation that said that would not be used in a case but to be fair if it's an anonymous tip it can't be used as evidence it's not going to be used to convict somebody. Mm -hmm. So people need to understand that if they want their information to be used, they really should come out of the shadows and not be anonymous. But they should have that right. I do think they should have that right. There is dialogue about this. There is debate uh, about it. And, and, and in some ways, uh, uh, one is a little bit surprised because it's not an entirely new concept. We have dash, uh, dashboard cameras that record police interactions with the public. Why, why do you think there's such a outcry about body cameras. I don't think there's a difference, honestly, uh, between dashboard cameras and body cameras other than the bathrooms, which you mentioned. I, I really think the whole idea is that we should film a public servant's working with the public. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. I mean, members of Congress, they go on C-SPAN. Members of the police, they are working for the public. Now, in their off time, that's different. You know, mm -hmm. you're off duty, sure. turn the cameras off. But if you're on duty, you are a public servant. And even if it just causes people to be more polite, even, you know, there, there's some allegations that uh, Darren Wilson said, get the F off the street. We don't know whether it's true or not. He says he wasn't polite or not. If you know you're being recorded, you're probably likely to be a little more polite with the community, and that makes the community trust you more and frankly we want communities trusting police if they know everything's being recorded the community is more likely to tell the police officer more likely not to fear the police officer more likely not to react violently because they feel they don't have anything to do one of the things I try to encourage people to do if they have a complaint with a police officer go ahead and file that complaint if people know their body cameras then the answers are those complaints will be justly resolved both for the citizen and for the police officer hopefully all right Mark Levine thank you very much thank Appreciate you for having you me coming in want to let you know that the topic of police body cameras is our Fox 5 feedback question. Do you think all police officers should be wearing body cameras? Cast your vote. Just go to myfoxdc.com. We're going to post the results of our feedback question tonight during Fox 5 Local News at 6. Coming up, Maureen. Another big story tonight. New